And we're back with some more spin tires. Who's ready? Eh. Uh, let's do this. Yeah. All right. That sounds like so much enthusiasm. Let's get a move on. Yeah, so this is the new Cadillac ESV Escalade for Spindex. Which nobody gets. Yeah, you nobody keep gets saying it. that. Um, yep. I will release it if I want to, just for your information, but odds are that's not going to happen. Um, so, yeah, it's an awesome little flagship mod for us to just expose our new upcoming releases. Um, so, some things I want to show you guys. Uh, if anybody hasn't already gotten the Bronco concept that I made, you should try it out, especially if you have a low-end PC, because it works amazingly. Um, the interior is not finished, and really will never be finished at all. Um, Unless you do it your you like. Yeah. And, uh, so, going this way, let's test out the acceleration. Non-existent. Okay. Um, we have the new Hummer open top. Let's just switch to it, just to play around with it. Um, Hummer open top by our new member, James. Hello. Yeah. Today is Go his ahead. birthday. Yeah, I'm old. Don't. I'm old and stay off my lawn. <laughs> stay out of my castle. Yeah. Um, stay out of my boat, you kids. <laughs> Damn it. So he did a really crazy job on it today. Um, I mean, just look at the lights. That's that's absolutely amazing. They're almost as good as the. Uh, the Gecko, I think it's called, by Moose Biker. Um, I thought you were after your Raptor. Oh no, my Raptor lights suck. Um, I need to fix them. But yeah, and the uh, the physics are going really, really well. I don't see any... It real... dropped like a Volkswagen Beetle, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> just, just be, you know, make it interesting. I don't see anything wrong with it though. Like, there's no suspension glitches, and it actually drives pretty well. It handles like a big, fat, powerful Hummer, and it gets yeah. stuck like it's heavy too. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Let's take the caddy and go somewhere else. Yeah, that's always fun to do. Yep. Go somewhere else. Um, hint, hint. We're trying to, you know, get some new maps here because, yeah, <laughs> we've been everywhere, man. Yeah. New maps would be great. We've already gotten rid of the trees, so. Um. Yeah. yeah. Here is the new Halo Raptor that I've been working on. Um. Leave comments on whether you think that roof rack looks good or not, because. I'm actually sort of now thinking not. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Wait, have you textured it yet? No. I'm gonna texture um, probably black. Well, it, it's not too bad, but the modeling for it itself kind of it's a little thin. Yeah. In my opinion, it's like paper thin and spin tires. So. You want something Sim more simple? Meaty? That yeah. I believe that a typical American vehicle, like like the, I had an A3 Blazer, the racks ran the other way. Oh, they ran vertically instead back. of horizontally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, kind of, that seems like it's like that. Like the Xterra has the two main support bars that run front to back. I mean, mm. just thinking of vehicles that come factory with a roof rack. Right. I might position them that way and see how it looks. Um, I'm quite jealous of those YouTubers right now. Currently, they're getting 30 or or more frames per second, and I'm sitting here watching every fifth, fifth or tenth frame. <laughs> yeah. 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 I know. So, um, 
Yeah, I've done the roof racks, but I've also done these pipes that now that I've flipped it, you'll get a better look. Um, That's how we show you stuff. We flip vehicles. Yeah. Yeah. And we wow. set our... And, and when we do real-life videos of us off-roading, we're going to flip our vehicles. Hey, look what we have underneath. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're going to flip it over again. Yeah. We got a new transmission, but uh, here, let me show you. <laughs> this is. Oh, this is that a... <laughs> so yeah. What's important is we. What <laughs> but let me know if you think the tailpipes look okay. I tried to implement chrome into spin tires. It didn't necessarily go super well. I'm probably gonna have to tone it down a bit. But uh. Let me and Castle Tech and all of us, if you can, know whether you think the new exhaust pipes are adequate. Um, they hey, should the only ones? be featured on the new Halo Raptor. Yeah, the, I think they're. The Halo Raptor, I'm thinking about going for like an end of the world theme on it when it comes to like yeah. accessories and tires and stuff. Yeah. You should do like heavy duty spiked un uh, unpoppable tires. <laughs> oh yeah, because you so, totally get a flat tire. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking yeah. about run flats and some running boards and a great big. Like, like you should do like spike big metal spike tires just for shits and giggles, so you can like end of the world theme. You're running over zombies and. Stabbing their heads and hearts with your spikes on your tires. Totally. Yeah, we we talked about like hanging a zombie head from like stuck in a suspension or something, and you know make it move. But then we'd have to say, "Oh, this is rated R." <laughs> How did I'll you make it. a money game R-rated? Really, really. <laughs> um. So yeah, I think that's pretty much what we've got so far in game. Um, otherwise, we're thinking about doing uh, a gigantic fire truck and a, a, a couple of dually fifth wheel trucks for some fifth wheel trailers that we're thinking about doing. Um, anything else? Hey, Bob. Oh yeah, the new K5 by James as well. For all you Chevy fans out there like me. Yeah, that's going to be something to look for. Um, um, just a second guys, I'll be back in like three minutes. Cool. Alright. So, how is the K5 coming along? Well, well, it's actually just about done. Got to do some lights on it. It's also, a lot of the vehicles I'll be doing are going to be like really, really low poly. Uh, I don't have max up right now to see what poly is played to run, but really low poly for the low-end PC users like myself. You know, who get a, oh, oh man, I love that truck. Get it in the game and, I mean, it's just unplayable. I, that bothers me, it always has, so I'm going to make stuff that anybody can use, whether you have a real nice computer or, you know, you barely run the game. Hmm. But, so that's what I base most of my models off of. Low poly and playable. I'd rather be able to play it fun, you know, have fun playing it smooth than have a nice vehicle I have to sit and stare at, you know, hmm. one frame every 20 seconds. Yeah, so... Nobody much. likes it. I think you might be able to just have the Hummer be the only intense mod that he does. Yeah, like my redemption for the Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was still learning with that truck. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Well, gotta learn somehow. Yeah. And. You know, it was worth it because now I can do any vehicle while I'm seeing the game. So it's like, oh, I wish somebody would make a Chevy Dually for the game. That would be so fun. <laughs> you know, now it's like, oh man, I gotta do a Chevy Dually. Damn it. Hmm. Yep. 
I really like the Hummer though. It's super cool. Oh yeah, it's it's a Hummer. You gotta go all out on a Hummer. Yep. You gotta spend some time on it, unlike a certain Toyota I didn't. <laughs> and, and, and just for um, anybody's reference that gives a crap, uh, like like two days was spent just trying to figure out the wheels on that truck. A common glitch from like. I don't know, one side's fine, the other side is off ball. If anybody can figure that out for me, yeah. Because it just don't work. People try to show me how to fix it, I do exactly what they do, and it has no phase. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. Is that G kind of back, but uh, stalking the conversation? Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, you know. You're cool. Hey, if you're going to stalk, at least bring candy. <laughs> Does fries and a burger work? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Does that come with a shake? Uh, it comes with the Pepsi. I've already got a Pepsi. I want a shake. <laughs> so yeah, the Hummer are going pretty good. It's got nice collision boxes and stuff. It actually Quite climbs. It climbs better than you'd anticipate. Let's. Go over to some obstacles to see how that works. Let's see if we can get a side view that might work. Yeah. Ooh. Up it goes. There we go. Yeah. The Raptors, uh, it's Try to keep it, you know, factory because you don't need a, you know, 14 inch lift and 52 inch super swampers on a Hummer. No. And I want to know is do people want to see like those heavily modified off road trucks, you know, or do they want to see more stock vehicles, you know, more factory vehicles? Cause I myself, I want to see the heavily uh, modified off road vehicles along with the stock vehicles, so have both. In a right. That would be cool. Because with the heavy modified, like, let's say you put out a, a Ford F-150, you have the off-road version that's decked out for, like, Baja or something, and then you have the factory version. Like I Because with the factory <laughs> version vehicle, you have more of a challenge of not getting, you know, stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, what I might do with, what I might do with the Hummer is just for fun put on uh, a total rock crawler suspension Dude. delete the current suspension on it and put the rock crawler stuff because there's actually a lot of h1 rock crawlers they work great for rock crawling oh yeah well that that wide wheelbase and stance is what makes them awesome yeah i mean there's videos on youtube that somebody in an h1 crawls like 90 degrees up a wall like, yeah check this out. Yeah. Let's say you do that in your, like, Prius, okay? <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> I'll try, but it's mainly because I want to kill my vehicle. Because I, I want to kill the Prius. I end up damaging my plastic fenders. Oh. <laughs> well, you definitely won't run out of gas, anyway. <laughs> so you can enjoy your broken fenders and bumpers with the full tank of gas. That is the end of the world. <laughs> Hey, I'm not one to talk. My bike gets like 100 plus miles to go. And it still outruns a Prius. <laughs> Look at the crazy black squares coming from the flowers. Yeah, that, that's... Um, uh, Didn't Ben Horn come up that. with a fix for that? Yeah. Well, no, he didn't come up with it. He posted a link on the site. Some Russian modder came up with it, I think. I need to get that. I would on personally just like you know, like I, I'm I'm driving, I'm off roading, I'm seeing you know get stuck. I think I'll stop and pick some flowers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Negative.
I mean, in future maps, I'd like to see um, like big open fields for if multiplayer is ever added to the game. You know, have get-togethers in those big fields. You know. Yeah. All right, let's you know trail off through this way, and and you change your vehicle. We're in full of drives. And who the hell made a Volkswagen Beetle for the game anyway? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually thinking about doing a Baja buggy out of a little VW Beetle. Okay, so get this. I actually, you saying that because that would be a good one. You know, that would be appropriate for the game. Yeah. But like, like a week ago when I was in town, I saw a like '96 Dodge Neon. All right, saw a Dodge Neon. Everybody knows what a Dodge Neon is, right? Yeah. <laughs> Worst view. On 38 Super Swampers with a 318 in it. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. So uh, I thought about doing that to like a '80s model Camaro or something, putting it in the games. I mean, not like massive tires or anything, but, you know, 33s, 35s, <laughs> lifting it up. Because, oh, yeah, yeah, I've got a Corvette for the game. Oh, yeah, well, I drive it three feet and fall in a hole, and that's the end. You know, there's like a 10-foot radius I can drive it, or else it's... You know. <laughs> so cars are definitely not going to work the game, unless something's done. There. I think that's going to be the end of this video check back next time and that would be peace from all of us see ya Later.